We've been talking for days now, really a couple of weeks, about the idea that criminal prosecution, criminal indictment, imprisonment aside, Donald Trump is already ineligible to be president of the United States again or hold any public office because he violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. Put simply, we went over it in more detail yesterday, but to put it simply, what that section of the 14th Amendment says is that if any elected official incites or inspires an insurrection or provides aid and comfort to those who are participating in an insurrection, they are disqualified from holding office in the future unless there is a two thirds vote in the House and a two thirds vote in the Senate that says we are going to allow this person to hold office. We have been thinking about who ultimately is going to make this decision. Well, state attorneys general, certainly, if they want to make the determination, hey, in our state, Donald Trump is not going to be allowed on the ballot. We have a lawsuit in South Florida. We have New Hampshire looking at removing Donald Trump from the ballot. But we have been saying again and again, this may ultimately come down to the Supreme Court. This may be presented to the Supreme Court as a case they could take as a matter they could take up multiple times. But we now have the first decision to be made by the Supreme Court. And to be clear, I don't want to pretend that this is the time that the Supreme Court will decide on this. But the Supreme Court has now been uh, given the opportunity to take up a case that will relate to exactly this. The court has distributed. John Castro v. Donald Trump to the justices ahead of the upcoming term. The justices will now be able to look at this case and decide, is this something we want to take up during our next turn? Now, a term. Now, I want to remind everybody, Castro is a tax attorney running for the Republican nomination next year, and he has petitioned the Supreme Court and said, listen, you need to determine whether Trump is actually eligible and allowed to run here once again. What the lawsuit says is, as I've told you, Trump is not allowed to run because his actions have violated Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. We don't yet know whether the Supreme Court is actually going to take this up. If they did, it would then be a question as to how they would find. But step one is simply, does the court want to hear this case? This is an emergency brief uh, that has been filed. There are legal experts saying this is not the strongest case when it comes to disqualifying Donald Trump. Uh, there is a case in Michigan that arguably may be stronger. We don't even know whether the Supreme Court will decide that Castro has standing on this matter. There are other ways that this question of Trump's eligibility could reach the Supreme Court. There is a long way to go, and I would highly recommend that on this issue, maybe skip the online punditry. I'm even including myself in this in the sense that I'm telling you, Go to the legal experts on this because there are a number of different ways that this issue might get to the Supreme Court. But the most important takeaway for you as a voter and for me as a voter here is again the reminder, we, and by that I mean I and many others on the left, started raising the alarm, raising the, raising the red flag, sounding the alarm in 2016 about you may not love Hillary, you may be to Hillary's left, but the fact that Donald Trump is likely to get one, two or three Supreme Court picks during that first term is likely to have potentially decades of influence on the United States of America. If Trump becomes president, we said, and appoints one, two or three Supreme Court justices, they're coming for Roe v. Wade. And they did. They are going to come for workers rights. And they have. And we've gone on and on. And too many people wrote to me and said, David, I'm on the left and Hillary disgusts me and I will write in someone else, maybe Bernie, maybe someone else, or I will stay home or I will even vote Trump just to show how disgusted I am with Hillary Clinton being the nominee. And I said, that's very dangerous. It's very dangerous because we could end up with one of the most right wing Supreme Courts in a very long time. And we did. So this is not about shaming anybody. This is about, hey, that thing I told you might happen, 
it happened in 2016. And we now may see that again in that the Supreme Court that has been one third selected by Trump may end up deciding Trump is eligible to run when a more reasonable court might say, no, this guy incited an insurrection. He's disqualified under the 14th Amendment. The consequences and the sequelae of that 2016 choice of Trump over Hillary by a very small margin is going to wreak havoc in this country. We're getting close to a decade already, and it could be decades depending on what happens in November of 2024. So we don't have to sulk. We don't have to insult. We don't have to write angry, sometimes anti-Semitic emails to yours truly. We don't have to do any of that stuff. All we have to do is vote in November of 2024, no matter how the polls are looking. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Make sure you are following the real David Pakman show TikTok. Not accept no imitation of the many, many, many imitators. Only one is legitimate. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. So much to discuss today. Glad you're with us. If you've been thinking about getting a new mattress, Helix Sleep is where I would start. I've been sleeping on Helix mattresses for years now. I recommend Helix to everyone, which is why I wanted them as a sponsor. If you don't want to take my word for it, Helix has been awarded number one mattress by both GQ and Wired magazine. And one of the things that makes Helix unique is their sleep quiz. I didn't really know what kind of mattress would be best for me, but you do this short sleep quiz. You answer questions about your body type and your preferences, what position you like to sleep in. And Helix will match you with the perfect mattress for you. So, you know, you're actually getting something tailored to your needs instead of going in blind like most people do. I got my Helix mattress designed to stay cool at night since I hate getting hot while I sleep. Shipping is always free. You get 100 nights to decide whether you like it. My audience gets a huge 25 percent discount on all purchases, plus two free pillows. Go to Helix sleep dot com slash Pacman and enter the code Helix partner 25 at checkout. The link is down below.